Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showcasing this new add-on for Blender called uh, BioBlender. Uh, this add-on is designed to improve and speed up the workflow of generating uh, cellular and molecular visualizations. Uh, it can also be used for uh, 3D printing uh, proteins uh, to generate meshes that are um, that can be used for uh, 3D printing. Uh, so the way it works is that uh, first we have, uh, I'm going to showcase the importer. So as you guys see here, I have a couple of op options uh, in the top. I selected to import uh, uh, this file here. So the PDB ID 1UBQ, which is basically uh, Ubiquity. I selected to import it as a cartoon. Uh, so that's what we see here. And then I can again change uh, the mode. If I, uh, if I don't want a cartoon in this case, maybe I want uh, the surface representation of it. I can again t uh, change that mode and hit uh, import and then I have the surface of it. Then uh, we can also get vertex color data out of it. If we uh, remove fast import and now we go to um, cartoon pretty, that, that is a mode that usually has a, a, a rainbow part pattern on it. So if I import that and then apply this vertex material on it and go into Eevee, then we see that uh, we get that, um, that color imported uh, already. Uh, other thing that we can do uh, with this is that we can do a batch import of different proteins. So instead of typing just one, if we type, let's say, for example, three PDB IDs separated by a comma, and then again, if we try to import, uh, if we go to fast import, and then we try to import uh, them as a surface, then in this case, it's going to import all of these three PDBs at the same time. So it's going to bring uh, two, uh, this one, that first is lysozyme, then ubiquitin, um, and then uh, our last protein, as we see here, uh, we can apply a material to all of them at the same time. Uh, at the same time, for example, if I press real and then I apply that material, then it gets applies on all of the, it applies on all of them. Um, so let me delete those uh, and this as well. Uh, what else can we do here? We can also have uh, molecules. So if I change this mode to molecules, then I can type here uh, GLC, which stands for glucose. And then I'm just going to show this representation to be balls, balls and sticks, which is what we usually see for uh, molecules. And then I want that vertex data. That way I have uh, atom, the atoms color already. That's why I remove fast import uh, again. So now if I go again to vertex and apply it, uh, then I'm going to have that um, vertex uh, color data. And then I can uh, also, uh, with the material, I can apply a liner to all of the objects. I can even select one or uh, as many objects as I want and apply the liner uh, at the same time. Uh, other thing that we can do here is that uh, similar to what we did before, if we separate by a comma and type another molecule, in this case uh, HOH, which would be uh, water, and we just import the, uh, press import again. Uh, now we're going to bring uh, glucose and water. Uh, water is going to be back there because this gets imported as a grid as a y y one by one grid uh, but here we can again apply the vertex material to both of them and then again select multiple objects to apply that line art um, and as we see as we move the, the line changes as well um, uh, the final thing i'm going to show uh, regarding the protein and molecule importer is that we can select a uh, molecule uh, no let's go to protein let's go to the uh, surface representation uh, go back to fast import because we don't care about uh, the color in this case. We can apply a material afterwards if we don't really care about the color. And then I'm going to uh, type the PDB ID for uh, hemoglobin. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to bring hemoglobin as a surface. And then uh, what I'm, uh, as we see here, uh, I can then apply uh, if I want uh, one of these materials. There's 13 materials total. Uh, I can apply this uh, cartoon shader on it. And then again, I can uh, apply um, line, line art to my protein. So I'm just changing the thickness to a value that works good for proteins. Uh, once I've done that, then what I want to showcase here is that even uh, if we have the same material, uh, the same PDB file there, but now we do molecule and then we change the visualization to balls and sticks. Um, and then if we remove fast import, uh, now what we're going to get is all the molecules that uh, are found in this PDB file. That's what we're going to import as balls and sticks. Uh, this is going to take a little time uh, because there's a lot of waters in this file. Um, uh, so that's basically why it's taking so long. Uh, however, we are also going to see that we are also going to get uh, the heme groups already inside the pockets of our hemoglobin. 
uh, alright so uh, this is about to finish it there we go so now that we have this uh, what we can go and do is again select it apply uh, the vertex material to it which is going to give us uh, colors based on the atoms as we see all it took time because all of these red dots were water around our hemoglobin but as we see here we also have uh, heme uh, molecules inside the pockets of uh, hemoglobin uh, so that's everything regarding the importer uh, there's videos uh, in this channel uh, that ha that have a little more detail about it uh, for now we're gonna move on to how to import uh, membranes so here there's al also an option found in the add-on that we can import uh, membranes both as a plane or as a vesicle uh, so here in this case I have uh, uh, this planar membrane uh, what I can do to it is I can then uh, hit displacement and this is going to generate a uh, um, handle here that then I can move and then as we see it's no longer a plane uh, it is actually uh, uh, first of all it's, it's been animated and second of all if we look at it uh, from this angle we see that it's no longer a perfect plane uh, similar to that we can do the same but uh, now instead of having a planar membrane we can have a vesicle uh, here in this case and for all of these objects membrane objects we always get uh, every time we select them we get this new setting here that is the cross section so we can also play with the cross section and then we can play with the uh, scale of it as well uh, so we can change the scale of it uh, if we also wanna uh, uh, play more with it we can go into edit mode and then we can grab some of these vertices uh, and then if we have uh, if we have selected uh, proportional editing then we can uh, change the shape and the membrane would uh, accommodate to that shape uh, alright so let's move on to uh, what else can we do in this add-on so I have a uh, three selected proteins here already these are proteins that are usually reside within the membrane uh, or they uh, uh, are transmembrane domains th uh, that they are with uh, like part of the membrane uh, so those are our three proteins basically a spike protein and some other uh, lipid related proteins and then uh, over here we have uh, our membrane that as I mentioned before we can play with the cross section but now what we're gonna do is that I have all of these three proteins in a collection called proteins and once I've done that I can select then my membrane object and if I press uh, scatter here it's gonna basically scatter uh, all three proteins on the surface of uh, my membrane and what I'm also gonna get as we see here it's gonna be if I go on to this object and I see here in this modifier I get settings for every single one of the proteins in that collection so for all three proteins I can I can control the density of each so if, say for example if I go on to uh, uh, this mode so we can see the color uh, then I can maybe turn off one of them if I set the density to zero so as you see there the red protein disappear I can bring it back uh, I can have more than uh, more of one protein if I want a lot of this blue protein then I can go ahead and select uh, this let's say to 50 and then I'm gonna have a lot of blue uh, and then again we can go to cycles uh, to have a look at this um, once the noise has cleared out so this is a pretty uh, fast way to generate uh, all types of uh, proteins on top of uh, scatter uh, among uh, along membranes and again uh, if we go here and set the cross section to zero uh, and we grab the membrane object and also set it to zero then we can also have uh, the inside of uh, the cross section of this uh, vesicle as well as the proteins being scattered and then we can uh, if we wanted we could generate another of these membrane emitters scale it and put it inside to show the organelles and we can design the inside of our uh, uh, biological uh, cell or vesicle that we're working on uh, now we're gonna move on to viruses uh, so there's a nice thing about viruses it's that they have uh, most of them have uh, what is known as icosahedral uh, symmetry so one thing that we can do here is if I look here I, ha I imported with the PDB name similar to what I showed at the beginning I imported this symmetric part of uh, my virus and what I can do now and uh, let me delete some of these objects so the scene becomes less dense uh, what I can do here is now uh, hit here generate assembly once I have uh, my object selected and what this is gonna generate and it's gonna be generated here in our origin it's basically is gonna go through all the math uh, of moving that uh, specific unit uh, rotating it and moving it to the specific place so that it follows this uh, icosahedral uh, symmetry and then we're gonna have uh, our virus uh, here re being represented
in this case this is the dengue virus virus uh, we can again go to the material settings and we can play around with the material and change the colors uh, for now we're gonna move on to uh, DNA and RNA so here I have uh, RNA uh, a DNA polymerase uh, I can go ahead and select it uh, I can select the real material and apply to it so now it has a material and then I'm gonna go back to uh, the viewport and then if I select uh, this DNA object uh, that we can import from down here uh, so we can import RNA uh, uh, as a cartoon or as a surface so I can uh, show this real quick if we delete uh, our virus here and now we try to import RNA as a cartoon and uh, we selected a predefined spiral so that's why it came with a spiral shape uh, we can also change that shape if you select for example uh, nucleoid uh, and again as a cartoon representation so now we get this structure um, we can also change the representation if we change that to surface uh, we can also add RNA as a surface and it would look uh, this way uh, we can look at that in cycles uh, we can maybe change this material to uh, our real material which is that orange material that we've been seeing and uh, that's how it would look uh, I can also show uh, real quick how would the cartoon look so the cartoon already has a, a defined material on it uh, uh, basically a different color for each of the base and this is basis and this is how it would look um, and now we're gonna go back to uh, what uh, the part of the scene I had set up here so if we go here uh, what we can do is we can import one of these DNAs uh, if we select the free mode we're gonna get uh, something that looks like this and then we can select this curve here and uh, we can just uh, extrude and rotate this uh, uh, point so that uh, I get uh, I can come here within this uh, DNA polymerase of course if I'm a little more careful careful and I uh, position these vertices correctly then I can then um, and if I disable proportional editing then I can go ahead and uh, basically model how this uh, uh, DNA goes inside this uh, DNA polymerase um, the final thing that I'm gonna show uh, is going to be how to generate uh, uh, all the different materials or some of the materials that we have here so all these materials can be applied by selecting the objects uh, here is the one we've seen before, the real material we can also uh, do a cartoon material, this is only going to work on Eevee uh, for this one we, as I mentioned before, we can apply line art to it uh, so it looks even uh, more cartoonier uh, we can then again, uh, if I remove the line art and I can again delete the line art from all, all at the same time I can have a the, the electric material, uh, let's have a look at that in cycles uh, and there's a the total, total of 13 materials uh, other ones that are pretty interesting are this uh, glass material um, and the other one that uh, other one, another one that is interesting is this 3D print material this is really useful for uh, 3D printing since uh, once we imported our mesh uh, using this add-on and then, then we can export it as an STL to 3D print and as we see here we get already a view of what it would look if we 3D printed uh, having uh, the extruder at the c-axis uh, if we if I rotate this uh, you see now it doesn't correspond to what it would look but if we hit control a and apply the rotation then now we see uh, the pattern now behaves as is the, the extruder is in the c-axis and uh, it would look this way and this 3d print material also works with any other uh, mesh that we would want to print and that's how it would look how it would look and then the final thing I'm gonna show it's this uh, other material that I found that is quite cool that it's uh, the carbon fiber material uh, and the reason I'm showing this is that for this one you have to also uh, generate the UVs for that you can just go into edit mode and then uh, once you are in edit mode uh, you can uh, UV smart UV project and then once you uh, hit OK uh, and this has a lot of geometry uh, however if I go out of uh, edit mode um, uh, let me see I think uh, I think this might have a lot of geometry. Let me try to project in it again. Uh, but I think oh, it's because I I, I think I, I didn't have yeah I didn't have the vertices selected. Uh, but if we do now again uh, UV project smart UV project, then in this case we should have our uh, carbon fiber material. Uh, yep, there you go. So this is how it looks in Eevee and then we can again switch to cycles and this is the way it would look uh, this can be used like uh, this can even be used like a background 
Uh, I think it also works at, at like a back a cool background for a uh, another scene that we're working on. Uh, but yeah, that's the general concept of the add-on. Uh, it really helps uh, uh, everything just be faster, importing all these proteins and molecules faster, and then have them scatter and uh, generate all these viruses and so on and membranes. Uh, just really, really automatic. Uh, just just improves the workflow and speeds up things. Um, so in this channel, there are a couple of uh, other tutorials, and I go more in detail on how to do uh, some of these uh, renders that I'm going to show right now. So these are just some of the results that you can get out of this uh, add-on. Uh, so if you just if you just play a little bit with it, with it, uh, and then you pick some nice colors, uh, as you saw, you can get the viruses done pretty easy. Uh, then again, if you use that scatter option, you can get things like a coronavirus real fast, a representation of it that looks pretty good. Uh, and then you can play with the cross sections and trying to model the inside of uh, one of these vesicles or cells. Uh, you could, uh, if you do the DNA polymerase, then it, you would get something that looks like this, and and so on. You could even model uh, asymmetric viruses. This is HIV, so this is uh, not model. It doesn't have that symmetry, but we can still use the scatter to get uh, a nice uh, representation of uh, HIV. Uh, we can even deform our sphere to sh uh, have the shape of a red blood cell, and we could have red blood cells. Uh, and all of these, you can also animate uh, a lot of these things. Uh, so you can animate movement of the um, you can animate the movement of the uh, membranes. You can animate uh, you can an also animate the movement of molecules. So in this case, I pre-imported. Uh, so let me go ahead and delete this too. And I've pre-imported a set of molecules. Uh, and then now, if I uh, let me move this uh, over here. And then if I have an object selected and I press this uh, last button that we have here called emit, uh, then it's going to grab all of these molecules that I uh, imported previously. Uh, they are here, so ATP, alanine, uh, water, and so on. And then uh, if I had this object selected, now what that's going to generate, as we see here, are all these molecules moving uh, towards uh, my... Uh, oh, all these molecules moving towards my uh, protein in this case. And then if I go to render view... Um, and maybe if we go to EV because they have line art, then this is what it would see. So that's just to get a nice uh, diffusion effect of all these molecules moving around our proteins or moving around our cells and so on. Uh, so yeah, I hope uh, you get a lot of use out of this add-on and uh, have a great day.